get on the ground. So what are you doing in the fountain? Taking chains? Uh, I just gave you a break, and you have to come back and grab some more money, right? Uh, we're going to have the undercover deal go down. We're going to do a deal of about 20 cocaine rocks. The undercover deal. Oakland Park guys are going to help us with that. All right, George said a silver car just pulled in here. Henry, I'm right here when you make a left. I'm right there. There's a guy running right here. That was him? Guy running right here. He's running? Right right here. Get on the ground! Stop persisting! I don't know what I ever see. I don't know what I do. Give me your hand. Stop persisting! Stop. We're gonna get it again. Take him over. Easy, easy, easy. Stand up. Okay. Search him up, man. I don't get it. Why are you running, man? I got scared. I'm scared of what? I got scared. Of what? I got What are you scared of? I got scared. Of what? I was going to, huh? I was going in my house and I got scared. Where's your house? Right here. Address. Right there, sir. What's your address? Right here. What's your address? Like what's on that tear? It's not an address here, man. What'd you drop it? I swear to God, I ain't I don't got nothing. Listen, I, I swear. What'd you, you drop get, it? Nothing. I swear. I swear. Listen to me. I Where swear. did you drop it? I didn't drop nothing. I swear to you. I'm Where not you? lying to you. I'm looking dead in your eyes. Where are you coming Seriously. from? I'm coming from picking my girl up. Where's I swear your car? to you. I swear to you, I'm coming from picking my girl up. Where's your car? The car right out there. I swear to you. Right out where? I swear to you, right in what the yard. What kind of car is it? A, 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 a little small um, Grand Prix. Where's your keys? The key, the car is running, sir. The car, the car is running. Why'd you leave the car running? Because you, not, you no, ran out of the no, car. No, no, I didn't. You? I swear I didn't. I swear I didn't. So you just leave your car running on no, it? No, I didn't. I was on the side right there taking the I'm thing. not even the guy you're looking for. I'm not even, I'm not even talking listen about, Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm, t I'm talking if, to if you. If I find something, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Because I have never seen a guy got taste. I, and got put in handcuffs the way you did, and say, "Listen, I, I just want to go home." I, I, he just told you. Your, your own friend just told you. He said, "I'm sorry." For, I said, "Sorry for inconvenience, sir. It was not me." Now, okay. So I was looking for somebody. First time ever. Just so you know, I've never seen a guy sir, get tased sir, and get sir, taken down the way do you nothing. did, and I then say, do... "Guys, it's okay. I'm just, I just want to go home." Sir, I didn't do nothing. You, you, okay. you, you asked me. You got my salt, so I, you searched me down. I was he back down? I said, "No problem." I was he back down? Hey, uh. Terrence, explain to me why this is going on. I ain't gotta explain nothing to you. I just told you. I ain't making enough at work, man. Okay. Well, where's all this money from? That's from work. Well, you just say you ain't making enough money at work, but you got at least a thousand dollars in there. Man, that ain't that ain't that ain't enough. That ain't enough. We set up the deal. He came up, opened the door, saw us, and, and took off running once he noticed we were policing. So this is the money that we got on Terrence. He actually made the undercover delivery to us. Uh, he's got a. Uh, this is the cocaine that he was delivering. That he was delivering to us. Um, as soon as he, um, as soon as he made contact with us and saw us, we jumped out on him. He tried running. Uh, he discarded the bag of crack cocaine, and um, Detective Reddle tased him and stuff before he was able to get too far away from us. Here right now we got about eight hundred. It looks like no, to maybe. This, this is eight hundred here. Yeah. Well, no. There's eight hundred dollars on the other subject. We got about at least a thousand here. On this guy right here, who's he is unemployed yeah. and his only means of making money is selling crack cocaine uh, from his own admission. I know cocaine, so I had that known. We got one guy going to jail for uh, cocaine and resisting. We've got tasered and another guy for um, just a uh, misdemeanor resisting. Two bad guys going to jail tonight. So what are you doing in the fountain? Taking change? A little. Yeah. All right. A little hard to deny it when you got wet pants, huh? Yeah, true. Yeah? Getting a call here. It says that there's a male walking around inside the fountain to the Mirage. So what they'll do is they'll come down here and jump the fence and probably one of the local vagrants and grab a handful of change out of the fountain too. 
What's that? Well, here's here's his wet footprints oh, yeah. here, so. He probably took off. Yeah. Well, he was wearing all blue, you said? All black. He was like all a black. mustache. Oh, like he was in the 30s, 40s. And you don't see him but down that way? Is that him there? He had a hat on? How much change you get? Oh, a little bit. Drop your, drop the, what do you got in your hands? Nothing? OK. Put your hands behind your back, palms together. Just stand over there for me, sir. A little hard to deny it when you got wet pants, huh? Yeah, true. Yeah? So what are you doing in the fountain? Oh. Spread your feet apart. Taking change? A little, yeah. All right, so you don't mind if I take everything out of your pockets, right? No. All right, you got ID on you? No. No ID? No. What have you been arrested for? Oh, I got one felony, trespassing, things felony like that. Felony for what? Uh, grand larceny. Grand larceny? You got a drug problem? No. No? no. This is just easier stealing change than it is to ask no, for it, huh? Just, no, I just refuse to beg. I got pride, what's left of it. Well, you got a whole pocket full of change, huh? Yeah. How often do you do this? Oh, every other night. Every other night? Right yeah. here in this one? Oh, a few. How much do you usually make? I try to make 15. That's all. Wow. As of right now, you're not under arrest, but you are going to handcuffs to figure out what's going on, okay? Got a whole pocket full of change yeah, here, huh? This did. is the big one. That was my last last one for the night. This was your last one yeah. for the night? Yep. So what do you do, just jump in there and grab a handful of change and throw it in your pockets? It's just uh, survival, that's all it is. That's all it is for me. I've been here 17 years, it's only been working for four. How long have you been homeless? About six. Six years? Yeah. So you just wait till it's dark? Yeah. I when no one's walking around, you jump over and... I grab can't a handful do it of change. The daytime. It's too embarrassing to do it during the daytime. I mean, I, I try to keep a low profile on it. Well, there's it's kind of hard to there. keep it's a low. Kinda, it's it's kind of hard to keep a low profile, it's don't not you so think? Hard to keep track of everything. Though. Well, listen to me. It's kind of hard to keep a low profile when you're jumping out of a fountain. People are tracking you. Now, I tracked your foot trail from back there because when you jump out of the water and you got wet shoes, it tends to leave a little wet trail. Here's what I'm going to do. You don't have any warrants, OK? I'm going to cut you loose with a warning. But your hard work for the night is probably going to hit you worse in the pocketbook than anything else. So you're going to grab all this money, and you're going to throw it back in the fountain, and you're going to be on your way. Don't let me see you down here doing it again. I appreciate, appreciate you not standing out here begging people for money, because I know when I go on vacation, that's the last thing I want is someone sitting there begging me for money. Just throw it in there. Don't let me see you out here again, do you understand? He's on his way, he won't be back. If he comes back next time, we'll take him to jail. One DB-13, one minute one. Just stand by. DB-13. Hey, I got a guy out here fishing for coins in the pond in front of Mirage. WMA, brown hair, glasses. I don't know if it's the same suspect as yours. Affirm, sounds like the same subject. One of my partners over here just called me on the radio. Sounds like he's out with the same subject. I just gave you a break, and you have to come back and grab some more money, right? Oh, you guys saw him before, huh? Yeah, this is the guy we stopped before. I made him throw all the money back in the water. So he was back in here? Yeah, he went and got some more handfuls. Came back? Well, guess what? Now you're without money and you're going to jail. You just don't learn, do you? It's, it's hard to leave it. It's hard to leave it? It's hard to leave it. I mean, all that works for nothing. What kind of work is it? You jump in the water and you pick the coins. 